Hello everyone, I am Najimul Islam. Welcome to you all on my channel 7 Cs. Today I will discuss on few topics. My today's topic will be number one how to import road or how to create road on Voyager planning station. Number two how to make ENC requisition for a road. Number three how to import ENC permits and how to update ENC data. Number four, how to export ENC permit and update to ECDIS. So now we will see how to create road or import road on Voyager planning station. Normally I create road on my ECDIS, then I export from ECDIS, then I import that road on my Voyager planning station. For import road, you have to go on planning, then road information, then create or import road, then click on import road. Already one road I have exported from my ICDIS. Now I will import that road on my Voyager planning station. During export, you have to export it at RTZ format. I have saved root on my V drive. You can see this root at RTZ format. Open that root. That root successfully loaded. You can see here the notification. Now all my root waypoints will be shown here. And you can see the root on visor planning station. Now if you want to edit root waypoints, then you can simply click on that waypoint and you will be able to edit your route from here so I am not editing my route here I have done it on my disk now for chart requisition you have to go to products click on products now click on AVCS if you want to select your ADP then you can select digital publications also from here. Now I am all, all, only selecting my AVCS so after selecting AVCS then click on submit. Now you can see here which chart I will be needed, which chart I have already permits and which chart are going to be expired at the present month so you can select all charts here and click on add to basket if you do that then all your charts without active charts all of your charts no permits expiring all of your charts will be added in your, in your basket folder but I will not add in the basket like that I will select manually so I will now select manually I will see which charts I need and manually I will add that chart on the basket you can see this chart I will need and I click on that chart then add to basket then it will be white colored like that you can select your required charts and this chart already I have so no need to add to basket you can see it's active chart Like that you can check all your charts and the charts no permit so I have to add these charts also in my basket. I am adding this, this chart to basket folder. You can see the, this one also colored white. Just check your chart whether you need it or not then click it on the basket
and these charts I have already permits. Uh, these are my active charts. I no need to take permit. Check again whether you have missed any chart or not, which is required. So after selecting charts, go to order basket and you can see your selected charts here. From here you will see the prices of the charts and the validity period. You can write here your next port name or next port as it name. One thing you must remember if you want to send your chart requisition by email then you have to configure your setup on email service. So for that go to configuration then update setting then if it click on web service then change it change it to on the email service. So my one is set to email service then click on save. Now if you think you are ready to send your requisition then click on submit order. It will take some time to create your NC order. It is preparing. Tick the box and click on yes. So if you want to send the requisition from this computer then allow or deny it. I will send it from another computer so I deny it. So you can see all your basket now gone off and the order has saved in a folder that will be open now automatically in, in there. Now you can see this NES update. This is your chart requisition file and this need to be sent to the visor service. make a copy of this file then save it on your usb drive and now send this file to your visor service after sending the requisition to visor web service depending on your company's approval it will may take 3 to 4 hours to get the permit so i have received the permit i have saved it on my usb drive you can see this is the my permit file and i have to load it on my visor planning station for load the permit you have to go inventory go to inventory then click on import permits click on that go to your usb drive and select this zip permit file no need to unzip it you have to load the zip file you can see now permit is loading After successfully import, you have to restart your visor planning station. Restart your visor planning station. Now you have to check your ABCS ENC update status. If this one is showing missing updates then you have to request for update data again to Voyager service. 
here you can see my ABC CNC status is showing update missing so now I have to request the update file to the Voyager web service for creating update request click on request then a request file will be generated you can see from which week I need to update click on yes so a request file has been generated here click on deny if you want to send it from another computer and you can see here where the file has been saved and where to send now you have to send this NES update details file to the visor service make a copy of this file and save it to your USB drive send this file to the visor service by email go to your email system and send it to this address VPS sync at the red voyager www.com give a subject named missing update request now attach your requested file here now send this file within 30 minutes to 1 hour you will get the update files in email then save that files on your USB drive that file would be like this Voyager update now go to your Voyager planning station click on import a Voyager update go to your USB drive and select the update file then open it now your updates will be applied here after successfully import it will be asked to restart then restart your Voyager planning station after restarting if your all charts are up to date then you will see your FCS ENC status green and it will show all are up to date no update missing if it still is showing update missing then you have to send again the request file so here my one is showing no update missing that means my all charts are up to date now I have to export this up to date data to my IGDIS to export all my ENC data I have to click on create ENC update for my IGDIS and before that make sure that your USB drive is plugged in and it's clear from any files now click on create NC update for my disk click on update status all then export this update from here you can manually export the chart data with chart data you need to update but I prefer to export full permit then there is no chance to miss any update so click on full permit click on yes now all of your ENC data are exporting to your USB drive it will take some time after successful import you will see this export completed successfully please update your this click on ok now I am showing you what type of data has exported here you can see here AIO data and ENC data all are here and your new permit file also here on this info folder you will see your permit files to see the permit files click on info then click on permits click on master 
and this permit text file you have to be loaded on your exdisk one important thing you do not need to apply any base dvd on your exdisk the data which i have exported from the browser planning station the all base dvd data are already included there so you do not need to include any base dvd on your exdisk again now i will show you on exdisk how to load your new permit file and how to load the enc update so now going to exdisk this is forono fmd 3200 model exdisk go to your usb drive first of all go to your charts option then click on license at first import the license file click on license then click on import license then you will see your usb drive here usb flash click on it then open the info file open the permits file open the master file then load this permit.txt file open it i have already loaded the permit files before that's why here it's showing zero permits installed but you will see your new permit files here now we have to load the enc data file for loading the enc data file go to auto import first of all we will load the io file select the usb drive click on usb flash click on io now click on okay click on okay now io data file has been loaded successfully now i have to load the enc data again go to auto import click on okay select the usb drive now just select the usb flash no need to go inside click on okay now all of your enc data will be updated if you have any missing data so now your new license and all of your enc data has been updated successfully you can see the log here you can see the last updated date and which charge data has been applied here as i have already applied it before that's why it is showing nothing here so like this you can load your permits file and your updated data on your exdis after applying updates on your exdis come back to the browser planning station and click on this confirm update as applied after updating every time on your exdisk you have to click on this option so that your exdisk update status and your visor planning update status can be synchronized now you can see all of your enc update status here showing applied like this you can create your route or you can import your route and you can export your update to your exdis so that's all for today if you have any doubt query or any question you can comment here i'll try to reply and if you like my video please subscribe my channel thank you very much